is a bit unusual for me. I'm in the passenger seat. But uh, I'm going to be driven today by Marnie Samphia, who's the marketing manager of Holden New Zealand. And I've got some questions for her. So uh, I thought she'd take us for a drive and we could ask some of the questions that maybe you as fellow car nuts might be interested in knowing the answers to as well. Well, good morning. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. Kind of weird me being over here, I must say. I'm used to the that side of the whole arrangement, <laughs> but you know. I hear you come very highly recommended as a driver. Okay, no pressure. No pressure whatsoever. <laughs> So uh, you reckon you're a bit of a car nut, don't you? I love cars. Because how long have you been at Holden yourself? I've been at Holden almost nine years. Nine years. So well, you've seen a lot of changes in that time. Awful lot of changes in that time and um, you know, market up and down and so we've sort of lived through some really tough times and the last couple of years have been really exciting. And what are the main things you've noticed in those nine years in terms of motoring and, and you know, because you're marketing manager, so you need to know how to sell cars to dealers who sell cars to the public, so. Yeah, yeah, I think probably the biggest change has been in the uh, technology that is in the car these days. Um, you know, just the phenomenal speed at which that technology is, uh, is growing ahead. And one of our challenges from a marketing perspective is to make sure that consumers Know, understand the technology and are familiar and comfortable in using it um, so that they get the best out of the car and the way that it was designed in the car. So that brings us kind of around to this car, this is the Commodore, it's a VF, and these are selling really well aren't they? I mean you're, yes. you must be happy with how they're going. Uh, we're very pleased with how they're going. It's obviously a declining segment in terms of large cars. Um, um, I mean, 10 years ago, Commodore would have accounted for almost half of our sales. So yeah. these days, it's it's more like 20% of our sales are in Commodore. And, and I guess that demonstrates the breadth of the range for Holden now in terms of small cars and uh, SUVs and, and, um, and light commercial vehicle as well. Colorado um, is our, our best-selling car these days. Really? Mm. Wow. Yeah, so that's a, that's a big difference from where we've come from, obviously. But, um, but I still think there's a really important role um, for a large car, particularly in New Zealand. I mean, as a, as a country and as people here, we like to you know, go away for weekends, we like to tow the boat or the caravan or the horse float. Um, and you need the power and you need you know, that capability that a large car offers um, if you don't want to go into that high ride, which you get in an SUV mm -hmm. or an LCV. So, 2017 is when Commodore stops out of, out of Australia, right? That's right. So we ceased manufacturing in Adelaide uh, in 2017. Uh, exactly when, I'm not sure that hasn't been determined, but uh, that will be the end uh, of an era, really, for, um, for manufacturing in Australia. And looking at that time, when do you start to, you know, deliver more detail about the replacement? Because I know you don't want to scavenge sales and you want people to be buying these cars, which are really good. Um, till the last possible minute. So how, how do you how do you ease that in? And yeah, it's a, a very fine balance, uh, and there will be some you know some exciting innovations still to come for Commodore in the next eighteen months or so. Um, so that you know that keeps a, a new story, uh, and the ability for us to tell a new story. And you still see large cars being part of the, the landscape. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I think there's yeah. definitely a role for large cars, and, and as I say, for those people that don't enjoy that that ride of an SUV or an LCV and it is a very different ride. I mean you can you know we're, we're close to the close to the road here you get a you know much greater sensation of the drive in a, in a sedan like this than you do in a, in a you know, Colorado or a, or a Captiva for example. So, um, so it's just you know catering to the needs of different people. Like the police. Like the police. And taxi drivers. And taxi drivers. Because <laughs> what are they all going to drive when when the, the VF is, a, is the last of the Australian Commodores. I mean, that's the thing. What you know, I drive a Commodore, and I'm kind of interested in what should I be saving my pennies for next? Yeah. Well, we have announced that the Commodore name will stay. It is iconic, and it is intrinsically linked with Holden, obviously. So it's very important for our future that that nameplate is there. I I can't talk to you about you know what that next Commodore will look like post 2017. Um, but um, fair to say, we are incredibly excited about it. We've seen some early images and uh, and I think uh, New Zealanders will be absolutely blown away. It's, it's a really exciting... Uh, Is it rear-wheel drive? I can't oh. possibly say. 
Is it all-wheel drive? I will have to, I'll no. have to kill you. You've I'm seen it though, haven't you? You've <laughs> seen the car, haven't you? I, ha- I haven't seen it. How the can car. you not tell me? I mean, come on, we're sitting here. I thought we we're kind of, you know, we we're getting along. You know, I've seen some pictures, and um, I, yeah, I was, yeah, I'm really excited. So um, I'm around for the long term. I've got to see that car come through. It's very exciting. Because from what I read about the the. Um, uh, the, the research that Holden did about Commodore, about whether they were continuing the name or not, was that you know it needed to be able to have a sporting variant, a genuine yes. sporting variant, yes. and it needed to have that you know that that power that people expect on the open road. So you're quite confident the car that they are considering is represents all those attributes that we've come to expect a Commodore to, to deliver. Yeah, and that's what we know about Commodore drivers. That it's the it's the performance and the handling. Um, number one, uh, it's that large car space. Um, and, and the versatility of, of Commodore as well. So, you know, we've, we've grown up with Commodore Ute and Commodore Wagon and, and, um, and you know, it's a, it's a really, it's reflexive, been a really flexible platform, so. And so, um, you know, like with the police contract just being landed, that, that goes through to... It's a five-year contract. Five, five year. A five-year writer. So they'll be going through the new, to the new car too then, won't they? Yes, yeah, so it was an interesting process and, and I can't talk too much about, you know, the specifics <laughs> of the police contract. Pretty sure they'd want their new cars to be at least as fast as their current cars. So um, <laughs> that sort of bodes well for the for the new Commodore when it comes out, right? There's a, there's a, a need for, for, for speed. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because they because they did that same they went through that same exercise in the uh, states and they were tried to move to four front wheel drive cars for a while and it just didn't work. So uh, that gives uh, maybe that gives us some sort of reassurance that the, the new Commodore might be. Maybe rear wheel drive, maybe all wheel drive, can't say. Can't you're, confirm or deny that. You're very persistent, aren't you? Have to be. My viewers insist on persistence. <laughs> the new car is going to blow your mind. It is um, unbelievably exciting. I can't believe you won't even just give us a... Can you just like sketch it on the you know, an outline, is it? <laughs> well, look, um, it's been really great. I've really appreciated your, uh, your insights and your... Um, You've been so honest and so upfront and so giving <laughs> so of information. It's it's <laughs> like I had to shut you up really about that Commodore replacement. I mean, if I've got any more details, I'd be sort of subpoenaed to appear in front of a grand jury. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so as you say, exciting times ahead. Very exciting times ahead. So you've been there nine years. Yes. Another nine years, you reckon? You've got another nine years. I reckon the next nine years are going to be even more exciting. Oh. I could like a true marketing manager. <laughs> Goodness me. Uh, we've got some very exciting new product to come. Um, and and really, there's a bunch of them, isn't there? A bunch of different there's, models there's and things. A lot. So we're talking about 23 new models in the next three years, which is wow. a lot of cars to introduce. And some of them, you know, quite, quite different to them. Marnie, it's been an absolute delight. Thanks. Uh, I don't know about that. Some of those hand positions on. You know, I'm not. Your, I'm not your driving instructor or tester, but Mer- you know, Mer- it's been great. I really appreciate your uh, your, your um, honesty as far as you can, you know, give it to us. And um, yeah, thanks for your time. We look forward fun. to uh, seeing what Holden has in this in this cupboard coming up. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Blue.